everybody, welcome back to Rolling Through Life. My name is Wanda and I have a little secret. And eh, maybe a big secret. Eh, that's a little one. Or, or you guys probably figured it out by now. I have to put a twin size air mattress down in my living room. It's not going to work the way it is now. So you are going to see why I need to clean up my yarn and crafting area. Um, yeah, it's it's a little embarrassing. I, yeah, a little bit. And, um, but I'm going to get over my embarrassment and I'm going to show you the before. And I'm going to try to record the whole cleanup. Um, but I only have like an hour left on my battery and I can't find the charger or the cord to hook it up so I could keep recording. So <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to manage this. If I can find the cord, then I'll keep going. But anyhow, I keep stalling. So let me turn this camera around Eek, and show you my craft room. Well, at least part of it. I'm only dealing with a part of it right now, okay? Get off my butt. I'm dealing with just a small part of it. I know, I know, I know. I got to get it turned around. This is embarrassing. But okay, here we go. All right, this is my bookshelf. Right here. All right, I got to get all this back to the way I want it. I stuck some yarn in there because, well, you'll see why I stuck it there. Okay, and these are all my notebooks and my printed patterns, which I haven't touched in a while because I print and I don't put them away. So they wind up all over the house. And I waste paper and ink, but, but that's besides the point. That's all my notebooks. Now, here are some packages some lovely subscribers have sent. This is so embarrassing, guys. And that's my uh, envelopes I ship in. Uh, some yarn I used up, didn't put away yet. There's um, a bag of yarn that my son had gotten from underneath my bed and put it in a bag. Now, here we go. Oh, gee. Dun, 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 dun. Yes. This, I'm going to say, now over here is my stuffing. I know what's there. 99% of this is yarn that I have to get organized again, okay? Now, let's go to the other part that I have to get. Yeah, I got to get all this put away. All right, this is the most humiliating thing. All right, let me get over here. Now, before I show you, this is why I am not getting anything done. This is why I have not pulled out the embroidery machine and you will understand once you see this I know I keep talking sue me <laughs> all right I'm gonna pull this back a little bit okay ready no I can't do it I can't do it This is why I'm not getting any work done, ladies. Everything is just piled. And I know you see some of this on the lives, but it is all just piled. That is the mall a minute blanket. I can't figure out my mistake. I should just throw it away, get rid of it. But yeah, there's that. There's some yarn that was gifted. I just laid it there because I can't put it over there. <laughs> and that's my movies book. My notebook with my movies. My patterns for my dragon and my phoenix blanket. Yeah. It is a horrendous mess. And I have to get this cleaned up. Put an air mattress down for number one. And to be able to get videos out to you guys. I can't find my um, stand, my, 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 my thing I'm a jig to put the camera on, guys. 
It's there somewhere. Can you see it? Because I can't. All right, so I do have an item, um, an item a YouTuber sent me a while ago so I could do my videos on my desk. So I am going to set that up to put on, um, I'm going to use it as a uh, tripod. It's not a tripod, but it'll work. So I'm going to go ahead and click off here and get that set up. And yeah, you're going to see me go through this stuff. The first thing I have to do is pull all of this out and get it to where... I can get back here to put yarn away. What happens is I pull yarn out to show you guys and I can't get back there to get it back in there properly. So that's got to be all put away. It's all on the floor. It, see right, th look, look, right there, right there. I can't get it back there. So I'm going to do this part first and if I have enough time I'll do the other part. Um, if not, it there'll be a part two. So let me turn this off. Okay, I'm leaning down a little bit so I can get in frame. But I'm going to start dragging all this stuff and taking it over there. Get it out of the way so that way I can at least walk, roll through here and start putting things away the, where they need to be. So, yeah, this will probably be fast forward, but yeah, that's what we're going to do. See, I would have never found this if I didn't clean out this corner. This is the pump for the cushion that I want to sell with my old wheelchair. And I wasn't putting it on market because I couldn't find it. Found the cushion cover and couldn't find this. So now I could put that on and get that out of the house. Oh well, I'll get it. Let me get this out of here. See? There's my Phoenix blanket I was working on. Couldn't get to it to work on it. Thank goodness the fair was uh, was canceled this year because that definitely, yeah, that wouldn't have been it. Alright. Move that out of the way. Well, I was going to sweep, but
All right. My yarn fell, so I gotta get that picked back up. All right, and put it away where it needs to go. <coughs> Okay, I got all that pulled out. So now we gotta get it back in there so that way I know what kind of space I'm working with. That large box of yarn, I know someone that wanted the cotton, that thread out of it. Um, I have to go through my emails, find out who you are, and then if you decide you don't want it, then I'll put it back up um, for shipping cost only. So I got three more bags down here I got to find a home for and then we're going to go start pulling some of that stuff back in and see if I can arrange things a little differently to where at least the stuff in packages can be put back here and then I'll use those bags to put the other stuff in um, I have to find a way to label those bags so I know what's in it and I don't have to pull them all out to figure out what's in it um, I have large box over here for um things i no longer want sell whatever i don't think there's going to be much i just think it's going to it's just there for just in case and i know you're a little lopsided i'm sorry i'm trying to really work with what i have so let me pick these up and put them away All right, so we have, this one goes in that bag there. I gotta figure out where to put some of this stuff. These two are the same, so these are the uh, Feel Like Butter in, um, in what? In the cranberry. So I think I'll put those there for now and this is that stuff that Helen sent it's the Italian story Luce by uh, Red Heart um, that I'm gonna make my granddaughter a sweater for that's what it was sent for and that's what it's going to be used for so let me look here and see if I can put this other feel like butter in there stuff it in there I think I need like five more shelving units <laughs> and then you know of course after that I would need five more shelving units because you know we have to fill it up so okay I got that in there this is Saber 100 all my Saber 100s are over here See, and that's why I've been sticking with um, the Red Hearts and stuff, because I can get to them. I really want to start using this stuff up, too. Because, as you know, I want to do another big haul, but I really don't want to do it until I have space to put everything. As you can see up there, I am going through the baby yarn. So, that's a plus. Find a way to get this in there. Oh. 
I'm glad everything's jam-packed because I would have just dropped everything at that moment. Alright. I probably pull this one out and throw them in at the same time. There we go. Ugh. 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 There we go. And I've got some baby yarn here. This is my baby yarn area. Throw that in here. Alright. Okay, this was another um, yarn for Lacey, another sweater. So I'll just put this down here for now. Um, yeah. Okay. I know I didn't have another pack of this. This is that cake chenille. I know I have another pack. I just gotta find it. This cake, cakes blue. This actually, I don't think I like this. I don't know. Hold on. Yeah, I I think this is the ones that I particularly don't like. But I'll put them up here for now. I might put them in a giveaway. Someone else may enjoy them. Okay. All right. I know I have some pink of that. Let me go get it. Okay, so I have it where it needs to be. Now I just have to fill it in with misplaced yarn. Oh boy. All right, here we go. This is almost empty, so I think I'm gonna stuff it in the corner there. <clears throat> Instead of having that big box here. Might find another home for it where it's closer, but for now that'll do. Alright. I'm gonna try to move you a little closer. I know you're seeing a lot of my back. Let me put you on this side, and then I'll show you the end product afterwards. And you're a little crooked, aren't you? Well, we must straighten you up. There we go. All right, I have some more yarn here that's never been put away. So why don't we go through it? Um, I have some more of this um, Italian love story yarn for Lacey's sweater. So I'm going to put that up here where I put the other ones. I knew there was more of them. I just had to get them. Okay. 
and oh yeah that's right I forgot about these all right we have which is great because I like I think this is a three weight yeah this is um sports yarn that a subscriber sent I have two a blue and two of, um I don't think this I think this is cream if I'm not mistaking which um it's great for baby blankets yeah the cream so I gotta find a home for these All right, that is going to have to be another problem for another hour. I'll just set them right here for now. Did I find a home for them? They'll probably go in the bedroom with the rest of my red heart. So, <clears throat> that bag's empty. <clears throat> And then I have this. Um, this is Soho Lively. You guys have probably seen them on Friend Mail. I believe this was sent by a subscriber. And I'm sorry, I can't remember who sent it to me. Um, yeah, but those are pretty colors, aren't they? I actually might make a scarf for the winter for the, me. And, oh, that's right, I remember the buttons. Yes. I always use buttons. Oh, this is from Susan M. I remember. Because she sent me these to go with the ones I had for a sweater for Lacey. So, I'll put these down here. Oh, yes. I have to figure out what I want to make with these. I don't, or, yeah. There's two of them. I don't know what to make with them. It's a size one, I believe. So, you know what would be good? My daughter in love lo loves blue. I wonder if I can make a, um, what do you call them? Like the lace, and then maybe put hers and my son's initials in the lace fillet. Yeah, like a fillet scarf for their table. They both love blue. So that might be an option for that. Actually, there's two more. So that is the option for that. There's plenty here to make something for the center of the table. So that might be something for next their next anniversary. All right. We got more buttons. So, all right. So we got those two emptied and put away. All right, let me grab the big bags. All right, so I have these large bags and this one is basically Red Heart and cotton yarn. So I might as well just take the others that I have in the bins and throw them in here. So that's at least till it's full, right? And the, the, uh, the third one I had, it just has Halloween and fall decorations. So what I'm gonna do with that is put them in a smaller box and put them out in my hall closet. And then that bag, I will just put all the other um, cakes that I have wound up and just use them as I, I can. At least if I can keep this area clean, I can get to them and then use them up. So, but this here is all that um, Baby Soft Buccal. I got that out of Hobby Lobby last year during their clearance. And I want to use all this up this year and donate it, the baby blankets, to the hospital. So that's going to be another project I want to do by um, probably March or April of next year. Get all this taken care of and done. And actually, if 
if by November I'm not getting on this, what I might do is get some of you subscribers to um, take some of these and whip them up in baby blankets for me. And then I'll send you a, um, a package to send them back to me as a done blanket. Um, so that way I can just get it out of the house, but it's going to where um, I purposely bought this yarn for. So, <clears throat> and then that way they'll be gone by April. Um, I do have a bin for baby blankets. So if I can at least get them made up and thrown in that bin, that will be some um, space that I have back here. So I'm gonna throw this over here. And then um, let me go scrap some of these bins I got. Okay. Oh, okay. So, this, I don't know, this looks like the cat got a hold of this one. This hair and it's dirty. I'm just throwing it away. Taken care of. So, these are full of yarn, big old cakes. And I've been using more Red, Red Heart Super Saver on my Amigurumis lately. So I'm going to throw them in this bag and just start digging through this bag to get the colors I need. Um, I do like this. This is, um, I, it's not cotton, but it's very it's got like greens oranges oh this is from mom's stash i remember now i'll have to use that on uh, my grandbaby stuff so i'll wind this up into my um my scrap cakes here's some more of that baby yarn so i'll use those to make my grandson's blankets and whatever but we'll just throw them in there for now. Look how that stuff is old. Look at that. Hold on. Let me get closer. Look at that label. That is old. I wish they had like a date on this. If I'm guessing it's from the 90s. So. Then I got this that I might... You know, use on a border somewhere. And I was just asked to make a, um, just a regular old Afghan, um, something simple. So I'll use that up, but I'll put that in here for now. So there's one bin. Now these are the bins I got at, um, oh, I want to say Lowe's. No. I don't know. It might have been Lowe's. No, Office de or the Depot store. Anyways, these are really good quality, so I'm just going to fold these up and put them in storage. Because, as you can see, it's been through hell and back, and it's still together. So, I will use these again. And oh, I got a lot of white. Um, the red heart with love. I know that's with love. I could tell by the um, the thickness of it. And then I have some of the red heart super saver. So I got plenty of white. Dang. This I can by the feel of it. I can feel it's. Um, I want to say. What is that kind I like? <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. Big twist! But it's, look, let's see, what is this? I got the label inside. Oh, this is the Karen One Pounder. 
feels like the big twist though it's kind of spongy so but yeah i got all kinds of white to use in projects so i don't have to buy white for a while so i'm gonna throw all these in the bag so that's one bag i have full And two bins down. I want to show you this yarn because I don't know what it is. I don't know how, what to work it with. And I got a whole bunch of it in my hall um, closet because I just don't know what to make of it. And um, maybe you can give me some ideas. There's a ribbon I won't use. Now this came from the Dollar Tree. I don't like the Dollar Tree bins. They tear up way too easy on the sides. So I'm just going to go ahead and pitch it. Don't like it? Get rid of it. All right. <laughs> Shake it down so I can zip it up. That's what he said. All right. So I got to get the size the it's quite full but I can do it I know I can <sighs> come on Sue I know you're liking this cleanup so tell me I can do it I can do it <sighs> you too Chloe ah. put this shoot, <coughs> on top of the other blanket so that way I can um, so that way I can uh, get it I know it's right there and I'll get to it easier so my sorry for shaking you guys a little bit so my um, camera just warned me it's about to go out. So what I'm gonna show you is what's done, what I got finished now, what I have left to do, and then I'll come back and show you the end result. 